Finally, I made it! A mini version of the time machine! Let's do it! <laughs> <sighs> I told you not to do experiment on your own! You stubborn head! Whoa! I'm the first one to travel through the timeline! Maybe I need to add some more of this, and this... What just happened? Oh gosh, not again! Ouch! I don't feel so good. Huh? Huh? Oh no, no, no! Whoa! Gosh, I'm alive! Where is this place? Huh? Huh? Uh, how can I get back? This works. I can go back. Uh, 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 huh? Whoa! Huh? Whoa! <laughs> uh, you do have a big mouth. This is the place. I can see the signal of the stone. Here you are. I will have the first stone for my lord. You look weird. Where are you from? Huh? Wait, what? You, you are flying on a broom? I'm just special. Huh? <gasps> You unlucky brats! I do love grinding kids like you! <gasps> Why are you attacking us?! <laughs> what is this thing? Why did he aim at me? He wants to destroy us! Run! Run! Keep running! Run? Can I run from him forever? With that thing, he could follow me to the end of the world! Luckily, I've prepared these! Thank you, Sandy! <laughs> you think this can stop me? <laughs> then, how about this? <gasps> now he can't follow us anymore. Let's go. I hope he won't give up. I will find you and smash your world into pieces. Deal. Anyway, I hope you have the answer for the whole thing. Obviously, he's after you. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. I... maybe this is the reason. <sighs> Stop touching my stuff! They're not toys! I'm... sorry. Hmm. These things are amazing! Can I have one? I think this is not my world anymore. In my world, these things are not rare. However, none can fly like you. How interesting. Anyway, I'm just a special case. Not everybody has magic. Huh? So, do you have any knowledge about this? Huh? This could be the answer. This stone has a huge energy source. I hope that ugly guy didn't after it. If a bad guy like him has this incredible stone, huh? he will bring chaos to this world. No, I can't let him have it. It did bring me here, then it huh? should bring me home. Huh? Oh no, no, no! Huh? While he is working with the stone, I can spend time playing with his <laughs> toys! Amazing! <laughs> My lord, I found the space stone. You found it, and you're still here? My lord, it's impossible for me to fight against powerful enemies. I... I don't need any useless person. 
my lord. I need my army. I just need my army. I will definitely get the stone. You will have it. Your army. Bring me the stone. You know your consequences if you don't get the stone. <gasps> Here it is. My power is back. <laughs> Raise. Once again to the undead and glory. Raise your hands to your new king. From now on, no one can stop me. <laughs> Great, let's try it! Huh? What? Wh what You've done it already? <laughs> Don't be surprised, look! Ladies and huh? gentlemen, we've huh? arrived! <laughs> huh? Huh? You can see my powerful undead army. You'll be glad to be one of them soon. <laughs> no, no, they're too crowded and I don't have enough gadgets here. What should I do? I can beat him? I only have... Yeah! Mom's spear! Huh? Sab, you have any idea? Mm. <laughs> I need you to uh. buy me some time. What are you gonna do? Make my own army. Still want to fight? How ridiculous. Great! More, Sabrina, more! Attack! Buy me some time! Okay, okay! I need a new idea. Too close! <gasps> he wants me in this stone. I can't get you involved anymore. You gave up already? You think he will spare your life after you gave it to him? <gasps> We're luckier than you ever think. there's a chance for me. We won! <laughs> How about the ugly guy? My mom will get more information from him. Rest assured, bad guys like him will never have a good ending. That's great! Mm. <gasps> it works! Great! From now on, there will be no flying boy yelling in the sky anymore! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I left you a present. If you can chase after its origin, you can find me!
let's go home. I hear. I must get deeper into the theory. You know what time it is? I've just come through a wonderful adventure. Huh? Gonna hear it or not? I've found the time stone. you react when you meet someone that huh? looks the same as you. The main character in the story that Woa Fairy Tales is going to tell today has an interesting encounter with someone who looks like her. <laughs> Moreover, she is even a mermaid. What would happen next? Let's find out with us. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl whose name was Seraphia. She lived with her father in a small house next to the beach. Every day they would go to the coral reef to catch fish. She didn't know who her mother was, and the father never told about her either. All she got that was related to her mother was a pearl necklace that she wore since childhood. Seraphia loved surfing, but the small waves near the shore never satisfied her. She always wanted to try out the big waves far from the shore. But her father never let her go out of the coral reef. On her 18th birthday, her father had to go catch fish offshore with other men in the village. Yes! Therefore, she decided to go to the reef to mark this special moment. The big waves really attracted her. <laughs> huh? Huh? This time, the shadow of a strange creature captured Seraphia's attention. The collision with it made her fall down in the water. The waves dragged her to the reef, which made her feet stuck there. When she managed to escape, Seraphia realized that her necklace was shining. A girl staying behind a rock was looking at her. Hello? I'm Seraphia. Who are you? Hi, I'm Selena. <laughs> huh? We look exactly the same, even the necklace. I've never seen it shining. Neither was mine. How strange it is. It seems that we could attach them together. <laughs> when the two necklaces were attached, a stream of power released, which startled both of them. A while later, their talk was disrupted by a witch. Finally, I found you two. Without an explanation, the witch suddenly attacked them. Selena was caught by the witch. While she was about to catch Seraphia, someone attacked her and the witch was hurt. Feeling that she couldn't defeat Seraphia's father, the witch took Selena to the sea. After calming her down, Seraphia's father told her hmm? everything. One hundred years ago, there was a sea monster that devastated the whole ocean. The King of Mermaids asked the gods for help, and he was given a powerful trident. Together with the trident, the king managed to defeat the monster, but its dark power hadn't gone yet. Therefore, the king used his trident to create a realm to imprison that power. Since then, the trident was passed down to other kings. Their duty was to protect that dark power from any menacing force. Eighteen years ago, hmm. the queen gave birth to a twin, but she passed away right after since she was too weak. <laughs> the witch Sierra knew that the king was missing his wife very much, so she took advantage of that to harm him. <gasps> While the king wasn't in a good state, she poisoned him with a poison that can't be cured. <gasps> when he realized that was Sierra, it was too late. 
knowing that he didn't have much time left and the two princesses were too small to continue his responsibility, the king immediately summoned the elders to figure out a way. After discussing, they all agreed that the dark power should be separated to avoid the dark forces. Each princess would keep a half of it. You and Selina are those two princesses. When I felt a strange source of power, I had to come back quickly. The witch found out about you two because of that. Now I'll go save Selina. You stay at home until I return. Father, let me go with you. Hmm? No, this is too dangerous. I'm the princess of the Mermaid Kingdom and Selina's sister. This is my responsibility. Please let me go with you. All right. But before we go, I'll teach you this. <laughs> the father helped Seraphia unleash the royal power that she possessed. And taught her how to use it. <laughs> After trying a few times, she started to gain control of it. <laughs> They started to go find and rescue Selina. Reaching the palace, they saw that Selina with her stepmother were tied to a pillar. I've waited for you too long. Now come here and give me the necklace, or else I will finish them. <laughs> After having the necklaces, she started to absorb dark power from them. Now, no one can stop me from rolling the ocean! <laughs> Put them in jail! They will become the giant octopus's huh? food tomorrow! Hmm. I'm sorry. It was because of me that we're in this situation now. I'm sorry too! You two don't have to blame yourself. This is our fate. Sooner or later, we'll have to face it. What do we have to do now? Only the Trident is strong enough to fight back Sierra now. But after the King passed away, no one has ever seen mm -hmm. it again. If only the Trident is strong enough to fight back that dark power. Oh, isn't it? Surprisingly, huh? when Selina touched the pearl, a miracle happened. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra was still overjoyed with her new power and dreamt of ruling the ocean. However, the door was wide open, which surprised her. How could you enter here? Guards! Your guards have been knocked down. Mm? She was quite worried when she saw the trident in Seraphia's hand. Uh? The trident? It has been lost for so many years. How could you find it? This is a gift from our father. But with a power from two children like you, how could you fight back my dark power? Then she suddenly attacked them. Seraphia started to fight back, but the trident's power couldn't do anything to the witch. The trident is supposed to restrain her, but why couldn't it? Huh? Selina, we have to unite our power! After resisting for a while, Sierra couldn't hold any longer. At that time, she came up with a devious plan. She hypnotized the two sisters, letting them see the image of the king and the queen. Father! Mother! You two are still alive? Seeing that the two sisters weren't huh? focusing, the stepfather knew that the witch did something to them. No! Seraphia! Selina! Those aren't your parents! Don't follow the king's trace! 
Hearing the father's voice, the twins awoke, gained back their will, and defeated Sierra. After Sierra disappeared, the dark power escaped, but right after that, a new seal covered around it. After everything was settled, Seraphia let Selena become the queen, protecting the mermaid kingdom and the dark power, since she was used to life on the shore. This responsibility, now I count it on you. I will still live near the sea, so when something bad happens, remember to call me. Seraphia returned to the shore and lived happily. And this time, her father didn't forbid her anymore. She could go surfing anytime she wanted. The beautiful princess was bringing that delicious apple for who? But is it poisonous? And why did she have it in her hand? Let's find out with Woa Fairy Tales. Once upon a time, there was a kind prince whose name was Snow White. He was much loved by everyone in the kingdom. However, Snow White had a mean sister whose name was Hellebore. You look so happy, huh? Have you huh? finished cleaning up my room? Go do that quickly now. If I returned and saw a speck of dust, I would put you into jail. Yes, ma'am. I will do it now. Hellebore, you shouldn't be heavy on her like that. Huh. What? Why are you always on the servant's side instead of me? That's why we can never be in the same boat. When Snow White was returning to his room, he heard that the queen, the supreme, kind sorcerer of the kingdom, and his mom, fell gravely sick. Therefore, he quickly ran to his mom's place. Snow White, I'm very happy to see you for the last time. Mother! Before I go, I give you this necklace. I hope that it could protect you. After that, followed by the Queen's will, all magical tools would be destroyed so that they wouldn't fall into bad guys' hands. Huh? Ha! Mother only gave Snow White her antique and I got nothing. Then I have to take something from these tools. What is that shiny thing? I have to take it. A magic book about pharmacy? It would help me a great deal. Hellebore started learning to make the medicines in the book, and she soon got used to it. Oh, there is a potion that helps everyone become stronger. A chameleon for the ingredient? That's not a big deal. I will do this to make my father happy. Hellebore told her yes. servants to find one. Soon later, they came back with what she needed. Huh? 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 Please forgive me, lady. Forgive you? No way! I will use you to create this magical potion to help father become strong. At that time, he will soon leave the throne for me. <laughs> Bring it there and watch carefully. I'll go out to get other ingredients. Oh, Hellebore is about to harm that little creature. I have to save it. <laughs> Just enter my room. No, I didn't. Ah, 
My chameleon! Did you just release that chameleon? I... I... Huh? I saw Snow White at my room store when I returned. He must have gone inside and released that chameleon. I was about to use it for the rejuvenate potion that I made for you, Father. I didn't do that. Moreover, you just said that I was wandering there, but you didn't see me release that chameleon, right? Since Hellebore didn't have the evidence, the king still uh, trusted hmm. Snow White's word. But he... Hellebore, since you are always acting superficially like that, me and other people have all agreed to make Snow White the next king. Father! All right, everything ends here. Snow White, you go with me now. I will make Snow White pay for this. Ha <laughs> Poisonous apple that turns people into beasts? Ha! <laughs> I will make this and turn Snow White into a scary beast. Let's see if Father still wanted him to become the next king. <laughs> After that, Hellebore started making that apple day and night. Finally, beast. she succeeded. <laughs> This is my present huh? for thinking that you released my chameleon a few days ago. And also to congratulate you on becoming a king tomorrow. I hope that you will take it and forgive my superficial actions. I really like this present, but isn't it the fruit that you love most and always save for yourself? Uh, but now I want to share this with my brother. If you don't mind, I will eat half, and you eat the other half. Is it alright? What? <laughs> what just happened? Save me! There is a monster here! <laughs> Hellebore! I... I'm Snow White! <laughs> no! He is a monster! Quick! Find and catch that monster! Recognize me? Yes, and more than that, I know you are in trouble thanks to this necklace. I don't know that Mother's necklace would be so helpful like this. After that, Snow White told what happened to Chameleon. I know a wise dwarf that can dispel your curse. Do you want to find him with me? All right. Huh? <laughs> Please! Someone is calling for help! We have to help him! <gasps> Thank you a lot! What brings you and Chameleon to this faraway land? Snow White told the dwarf his story, and the dwarf took a magic mirror from his pocket. I have a magic mirror that can help its owner answer one question, but it can't work anymore since the connecting stone is missing. Snow White watched and saw that his mother's stone looked like the connecting stone. Therefore, he put the necklace on the mirror. It works! Please ask, Snow White. Mirror, please let me know how to dispel this monster curse. Go into the forest. You will see a cave that leads to the six-color stone. You just need to hold it and wish. You will become a human again. 
And here is a shortcut to go there. Snow White and Chameleon looked at each other excitedly. They said goodbye to the dwarf and followed the mirror's guide. Finally, they managed to get there. Not so fast. Why are you here? I knew that you would try to dispel this curse, so I followed the map in this book to find a cure. However, father told me he will give me the throne if I catch the monster. So guards, catch him for me! <laughs> ah! <coughs> ah, this hateful chameleon, get away! Give the stone to me or I will finish you here. Snow White saw that Hellebore was about to harm Chameleon. He shouted. <laughs> Chameleon, you are badly hurt. But I still have a six-color stone for you. It'll help you become human again. No, don't pass away. I'll try all ways to save you. <laughs> Prince, there's only one way to save Chameleon. You have to crush your mother's stone together with the six-color stone and pour it on Chameleon's body. Although mother's stone is the most precious thing to me and six-color stone will dispel the curse for me, Chameleon sacrificed its life to save me and I cannot ignore that. So, I accept this trade. A light appeared. Chameleon was saved, and because of that sacrifice, <laughs> Snow White became human again. You are... I'm Princess Java, from your neighboring country. Once when I tried to save a chameleon, the devil witch cursed me to become one. But by your sacrifice, I became human again. Then Snow White hugged Java happily. Then he and Java took Hellebore to the kingdom and told what happened to the king. The king was furious. He ordered guards to put Hellebore into jail for her wrongdoings. Finally, Snow White became the king. He lived happily with his father and Java forever after. <laughs>